poor mastery of the English language, which is the language of communication and pitching of research papers, is impeding the scripting of fundable research papers and proposals. Unfortunately, scientists are very bad at following instructions, so we had to throw out what half the proposals from simple things like we want it to be blinded, so don't tell us who you are in the body of the proposal. So rules and guidelines are important and we need to follow them. How do you train people to do that? You can't. People just have to become more meticulous. Some of these are coming from researchers at the universities, individuals or research, research organizations. I think that we have to ask ourselves why are they not well written. There can only be two answers. One is that these guys are so bad they can't learn, which I don't think is the case. The other one is that they've not been appropriately mentored and trained into writing research proposals and writing in general. And since we write most of these things in English and not mother tongue, it's important that we have the mastery of language, both language generally spoken and written and scientific language. That makes it possible for you to write a good proposal. The situation is further complicated by delays in completion of postgraduate studies as some scholars take too long to complete their studies. On average, the duration it takes to get a master's or a PhD in the African continent is longer than it takes elsewhere in the world. This is not because we are not th more thorough or we want to produce better work. It's simply because the timing and the mentorship is not in concert. You need a good mentor for you to synthesize your research thinking, and you need that good mentor to continuously guide you. Institutions of higher learning are being encouraged to offer courses that address the socio-economic challenges being faced so as to remain relevant. So have we gone to the field and assessed whether our innovation is actually going to be um, used in the field. If I, if I say I'm creating a new drug for babies and the mother can't deliver that drug to the baby, it's not a drug that is going to make any impact in that, in that space. So have we done a lot of that work? So that disconnect is linking the community to the police, policy maker, to the funder, to and the scientist. According to a World Bank report, Kenya is among sub-Saharan Africa countries that are well positioned to pursue health research and development as a strategy to power her economic growth due to the many globally recognized Kenyan research institutions. Judith Akolo, Channel One Business.